you suspect a leak in your home, there's a few signs to look for and test to run to determine if you really do have a leak, which I'll show you in this video. And if after you run these tests and look for these signs, you do really think you have a leak, then call a professional to come and fix it because you don't want that leak just causing unnecessary water damage. So just get it fixed right away. If there is a leak in your home, the first thing you might notice is a spike in your water bill. This could indicate a serious leak somewhere in your home if the spike is very high. Low water pressure in your sinks or shower can indicate a leak in your system, but it doesn't exactly show where in your system there's a leak. It's just a sign. Now a slab leak is a leak that occurs under your home's foundation or under the concrete slab that your home rests on. And these can be really hard to determine for a regular homeowner. Uh, but I can show you some tests to run that you can find out if you have a slab leak. And if you do, you, again, you just want to call a professional to get it fixed. This is a sign of a possible slab leak, where water is coming out from underneath the slab on the outside of the house. This means water can be leaking from a pipe under the slab and finding its way out. Water can be coming out of cracks and underneath walls. If you're near a sink, the leak might not be coming out of the pipes directly, but rather from the cracks of the tile here. This would mean the leak is under the slab and is surfacing through the cracks. If the water is hot or warm, which is most common, then you have a hot water slab leak. Another symptom for finding out if you have a slab leak is hot floors. The heat of the water that's leaking under the slab will heat up the concrete under the tile or wood, which then heats up the floor itself. So if you're walking and you feel an odd change in temperature on your floor, it can mean you have a slab leak. If you pass by your water heater often and you see that it's always running, it means that it has a constant inflow of cold water going in and hot water going out. And your water heater is just working really hard to keep up with the demand of hot water that it needs. And this could occur if there is a slab leak. So if there is constant hot water leaving your system, it's going to make your heater work hard. So that's why you want to get your slab leak fixed so there's no water leaving the system and your system works regularly. Now there's two kinds of leaks you can possibly identify. One is intermittent periodic leaks and the other is continuous leaks. Intermittent leaks are most associated with broken flappers on toilets. You'll hear the toilet automatically refilling because water could be leaking through a broken flapper which makes the toilet refill itself when the water gets low. If you suspect a problem with your toilet, place food coloring in the water and wait a few minutes. If the coloring seeps into the toilet bowl, then your flapper isn't creating a proper seal. It may just take replacing the flapper to fix your leak, which is simple. If you don't have food coloring or something similar, you could mark the water level on your toilet, then turn off the toilet's water supply. If the water level has gone down after a few minutes, then you've got a faulty flapper because water is escaping when it shouldn't. You can run another test by going to the water meter outside of your home. Next to the meter, there's a very small triangle, which is called a micrometer. The micrometer is moving right now because there's water running in the house. You can shut the water off to your home to make sure there's no running water. The shutoff valve can be located outside, in the garage, or the basement. After you do this, the micrometer should not move at all if you're not using water. If it's still moving after a while, that means there could be a leak, but you should wait to see for sure. You can also use the bigger hand, which is a sweep hand, to measure if water is leaking. Mark where the sweep hand is and wait a few hours, but make sure knowing is using any water in the shower dishwasher, washing machine, or faucets. If the sweet pan is moved after a few hours, it means you're still using water in the system, which means there's a leak. For example, if the hand is at eight and you come back several hours later and the hand was at the nine, it means one gallon of water has passed through the meter. So if you're not running water at this time, there shouldn't be water running through the meter. You can also use a pressure gauge test to find out if you have a leak. The gauge should be attached to a hose bib on the side of your house or building then shut off the water to the house, making it a closed system. If the gauge starts to drop slowly, it means water is leaving the system, which means you have a leak, because water should not leave the system if it's closed. If the gauge stays still after 15 minutes or longer, it means you're okay. All the water has remained in the system. If there were no leaks in the system, the gauge would remain the same until the next day. If your refrigerator produces ice or water, that means it's prone to leaking, which most people forget to consider. So this is some place you might want to check out. Stains will occur on ceilings and around the house where hidden leaks are occurring, and they'll look anything like these. A few other clues include moisture or mold on walls and ceilings that could come with a musty odor. And cracked tiles indicate that water is building up underneath your tile and pushing out. Blistering paint 
and peeling wallpaper are signs that water is leaking from somewhere behind the wall and staying there. Inspect exposed pipes in basements and crawl spaces because corrosion, mineral buildup, or moisture present around the pipes indicates a leak. If you see mold, mildew, or rotted wood around these pipes, your leak is probably in this area. Water tends to travel downward, and often the location of water stains is not the exact location of the leaking pipe. Still, it's a good indicator of the general area of the source of moisture. If you want to take matters into your own hands even further, there's appliances like this leak shooter, which can identify leaks through your walls. So again, these are just tips to determine if you do have a leak in your home. And if you really figure out that you have one and think you do, then call a professional before your water bills just build up or you just get unnecessary water damage in your home. So that's all I have to tell you for that. And if you found this video helpful, then press like and subscribe to our channel because we're coming out with a lot more videos really soon.